Hello everyone. In this video, we just want to go through and look at a new option that was added in Creo 5 to the draft command that will make adding draft and rounds on your model much easier than the past. Now with draft and rounds, if you worked with those a lot pre-Creo 5, you know, you always had to think about your order because you needed to go through and add the draft first on your part. And then once you added the draft, you could now come back over here and add the round second. But you had to have the draft on first before you added the rounds. Because if you came over here and added the rounds first and now tried to add draft on this face, it wouldn't work. Or it was very difficult to do. But with the new option that they added in Creo 5, it'll greatly simplify that. Now, let's first talk about the old method. I want to go through and kind of duplicate this draft and round on these other two bosses. Now, with the pre Creo 5 method, you would have had to have added your draft first. So I'm just going to go through and add draft on these faces that go all the way around on my extrusion here. Once I've got those surfaces that I want to draft selected, I'll expand down my reference dialog box and I'll add just this top surface here as my hinge. Now once I've done that, of course, I can drag my handle here and I can go through and make my angle. And I'm going to go through and just make that 15 degrees up above. So you would need to add the draft first. Now that I've got the draft created, I could go through and say done. And now you would go through and add your routes. So I can just go through and select these edges here along the top and add it. But draft first, rounds were always second when you created your model. Now over here, again, I've already got the round on here. And I want to come back here and add the draft. And again, before Creo 5, that would have been very difficult to do. But now what I can do is just go right to the draft command. Now again, I'm still going to have to go through and pick all the same references. So I'm going to need to go through and select these surfaces that go around the outside of my extrusion. I'm still needing to come back over here and pick my hinge. That will be my top surface here. And again, when I go through and put in my draft angle here, notice how it goes through now and keeps the round. Whereas in Creo 4 and earlier, that simply would not have worked on there. You would have had to have removed the round before you could go through and add that draft. Now the option that's controlling this is over here in the option drop down. It's this choice here, create round slash chamfer geometry. So it's going to go through and recreate those items after the draft has been added. Now if I was to go through and turn that off, it would go through and just basically remove the round completely. And then you could come back here and manually add it if you wanted. But what I'm going to do is simply come over here and leave that on to get the results that I want. So very nice improvement again in Creo 5 drafting. You no longer have to think about the order so much. It's really easy to come back and add the draft even after the rounds have been created. 